Nice. Good job recording. Is that it? That's the episode? Oh, oh we gotta start. Please. Welcome back to another episode of Brickmania TV. Today on Brickmania TV, it's we have the crocodile. Churchill crocodile. Churchill crocodile. Yes, Churchill yes. 7. Cool. With some history the flamethrower edition. Yes. Um, let's little, take this micro tank off oh yeah, so that people don't think there. that's the actual the thing. Little micro shirt or Churchill. Tank. OK, cool. History. Yeah. What's this? Um, so there is a uh, Churchill tank, mm -hmm. Churchill heavy tank. Um, it was uh, went through. Uh, a few different variations starting cool. from Churchill 1. This was uh, the Churchill 7. Cool. Um, the the um, General Percy Hobart yep. uh, was put in charge of um, converting some of these um, tanks or making some tanks to do additional things for the engineers like um, a mine flail cool. or putting this big thing out to get over um, barbed wire and right. stuff. And one of them was the uh, flamethrower, flame yeah, yeah. and all these different tanks were called the funnies. Yes. So this was one of the funnies. They made about 800 of them. They kept a bunch of them in reserve. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they were used in uh, World War II and uh, I think a little bit in the Korean War. It was the flamethrower part was an attachment that they could put right onto the uh, Churchill 7. Right. So the ones that were in the field, they could go out, they had this trailer. Um, and then it would connect, it would, the pipe would run under the tank and then run up to the front and then they right. could whoosh, So a trailer put about just full of fuel in the back. Full of fuel and also uh, nitrogen as propellant. Oh, right, uh, right. So it had about 400 gallons of fuel. Um, the trailer itself weighed about two and a half tons, I believe. Six and a half tons, sorry. Ooh. Six and a half tons. Um, armored, even the uh, coupling there were uh, connected was cool. armored. And they could shoot about 81 second bursts. They wouldn't do like one continuous flow, right. otherwise it would just run out. They could also shoot a spurt of uh, fuel, let it sit, and, and then, then shoot yeah. a second one, and then then light it up. Um, the uh, many Germans, when this <laughs> tank was approaching, they were so frightened of this, yeah. they would just give up. They would just <laughs> come so, out. Yeah, how did they, how would they use this thing like in the actual in combat? Um, it, it wouldn't actually shoot that far, but the unique suspension of this actually was um, pretty loud. Sure. And uh, it was a great climber, uh, and they could hear this thing coming, and when they would hear the sound, you, you did the sound effect in yeah. our promo, right? <laughs> um, when, they, when they heard this thing coming, and they saw a little bit of flame coming, they were just like, we're done, we give up. Right. Um, if they ever captured the crews, they were so upset at these guys, they actually didn't take them prisoner, they just Oof. killed them. They, they, they hated these things. Oh, man. Um, so as far as we know, this guy was from the uh, 79th. Um, there's not the right. guard over, so that's the thing, but that's going away from the history, that's sure, getting sure. back into the tank itself now. Cool, yeah, um, for the model, let's talk about some, some features we got here. Yeah, so the um, tank uses double Y Brickmania track links. Yes, Let's take the trailer off. Um, cool. Yeah, we'll start with, we'll get back to the trailer in a minute. Yes, yeah, we got the track links there. Nice. Yep, they work. I like how the uh, armor completely surrounds the track link, but yet you still manage. That was a little bit of a challenge, but yeah, we got it. Rolling. It's as tight as it can, 135th scale. Uh, we put it right up. Next to uh, up the schematics, they're one through fifth yeah. scale, and that's about as close as we can get. Uh, turret spins 360 nice. degrees. We got the commander in here. Um, there's also a the couple of um, hatches that mm -hmm. you can get your guys down in here as well. Um, also, there's the engine compartment hatches that uh, you know they could go check mm -hmm. their fuel or and oil and stuff. Yeah. Um, and let's see, this uh, commander's hatch also goes up and down. We nice. have the um, gun elevation um, up and down there. What else do we have? So the rear of the um, tank, the trailer hitch, could actually go to the side mm -hmm. and stay um, over there so it's not flopping around. Cool. It would actually have a, a bar that would hold right. it so it wouldn't go flapping around. Right. The trailer itself, 
Um, opens up, we have, there's a couple tanks in there that uh, you could see, you got fuel and the nitrogen. Um, nice. You could put other stuff in there if you like, uh, make it a little bigger. Now they wouldn't want this trailer just flopping over and stuff like that. There's a bunch of fuel in there. So they have these stabilizers <laughs> that you can... Attention to detail. Here. Yes. You can actually stabilize your trailer nice. with the stabilizers and let it sit nice and flat That's so cool. it doesn't roll away. Yeah, so that'd be kind of nice for a little diorama display. Like you oh, could yeah. have them staging the tank or something. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know how many trailers are actually survived survive the war. Sure. Um, so there's a, just a few out there that we were able to model it off right. of, including right. the schematics. Um, besides that, we got some really cool printing and stuff, and yeah. I think the commander was something unique about that. Maybe you want to tell us yeah, about Yeah, so I'm, we're trying out some new things here. Um, so this is just a, the basic denim coveralls that they would have had back then. Um, we're trying a different texture printing. I, I don't know if you can, how close you can get with that camera, um, but the actual minifigure below it is a light Lego gray. Um, and I wanted to get a bit closer to the, to the actual color of the denim, but LEGO didn't really have anything that close. Um, so what I did was, it's sort of a match of this, this darker, greener, bluish green, um, uh, it's kind of fabric uh, texture overlaid, and it together blends with that LEGO below it to create kind of a really close color. Yeah, it came out really nice. And a cool texture, and we got printing on the sides of the arms, on the front of the arms, and the back of the arms which uh, that's, that's a first for us, so that's pretty cool to get that texture all over like that. Um, yeah, what else? There's a pistol belt that wraps around. Um, kind of cool detail there. And then of course the uh, yellow tinted goggles that I just thought those were kind of cool, so yeah. decided to include that. Yeah, and you got the... Uh, and the beret as well. The beret, yeah. exactly. Uh, and on the tank itself, um, I don't know if you can zoom in on the, these, some more texture printed, like duffel bags on the side. Um, you build, the builders, you guys are loving those those uh, texture prints. Oh yeah, absolutely. Legs. Yeah, I I didn't uh, request the textured print. I just wanted the uh, the duffel bag print. But you, you guys went all, all out on that. <laughs> got the texture on there, so it, it looks and feels like there's duffel bags. Yeah, that's cool. There. It's really cool. Uh, Studley the tank. Studley. Studley. Um, oops. And then there's a little uh, numbering on the front side of the turret. So yeah, they'd all have like their serial number or something. Uh, in the front there, always have their name on the side. We got both sides. We got a marking in the back. So you got all kinds of yeah. printed stuff on here. Super cool. Yeah. We think so anyway. You'll have to let us know what you Absolutely. think. Absolutely. Um, one more thing about the kit. I did really appreciate how this thing was built. I don't know how easy it is to split the sides off oh. right now. You want to see the track coming around I the mean, side? It, it's, a, it's kind of a simple way that, that this thing's all put together. So. Yeah. So the whole side just pops off. Um, but the turret pops off. This other side pops. Yeah, it's, the whole thing's kind of held together in an exterior sort of. Yeah, it's, um, you know, we, we try to simplify it and make it really nice and sturdy. Yeah. Um, the I, I was watching a video on a guy that restored a tank, uh, Churchill, and right. that's, that's kind of what the turret looked like. Um, the whole assembly yeah. would just, try, they had it up in a crane, they would drop it right in. Um, and I thought, well, you know, I could do that. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> so drop it in. Um, so yeah, doing that, you know, just figuring out with how to do the instructions mm -hmm. and all that and figure it out. But it, it was it was simple enough to do. So might as well throw it in there. Cool, awesome. Uh, this turned out to be a pretty sweet model with a little trailer here in the back. Yep. The Churchill know. Crocodile. M7, is he saying? M7 Churchill Crocodile? I don't think it's an M7. Um, I think M it's an A22 A. Churchill. Where's the seven? seven. Oh gosh. <laughs> Edit that part. There we go. Churchill Crocodile, the latest kit from Brickmania. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on YouTube. And Let's get the micro. The micro thing, yeah. This guy's here too. Are we selling this thing? I believe we are. Yes. So we, if, if this is a little bit out of your price range, we got this bad boy as well. So. Yeah. What's the hashtag this month? What do we got, Jeff? Yeah, Jeff, what's the hashtag? Battle of France Bricks. Battle of France Bricks. Battle of France Bricks. And Use it and you are stuff. guaranteed to be in a competition where you might win stuff. <laughs> yeah. Is that that's accurate? Cool. Yeah, that's accurate. Don't throw it at me. I just Kids. had fire thrown at me. <laughs>
That's the episode of Brickman TV. That's the whole thing. Thank yeah. you for watching.